your first trip on a plane, Bob? <laughs> wow, I'm so, so excited. First time I've seen. I'm wow, such so a bad. tourist with my phone. How many times have you been to Bali? Me? Yeah. Can't remember. Oh, too much. He's gonna regret not getting this. At least we won't lose dad. Good morning guys, first official intro of this vlog. So as you guys would have seen, I'll probably put on the title somewhere. The boys and I are currently in Bali. I've come upstairs because I'm just getting ready because I'm actually here with the Women's Fitness Academy. So I am helping host their little fitness retreat here. So exciting, I did meet all the girls yesterday. And this morning we do have like a class, so that's gonna happen downstairs. And this one's about glute activation. Super exciting, then we're having a dinner later tonight. This is actually the first time that I've traveled overseas with the boys. I actually personally don't really know any of the girls here. So I've literally just made friends from scratch and they have just been all so lovely and accommodating. Because believe it or not, within the fitness industry, it is super rare to have like nice women. But that's definitely more in like the competitive side of it all. What this specific academy is all about is like empowering women and educating them with their relationship with food, their relationship with their body, which is so, so important. Unfortunately, it does does get pushed aside, especially within the fitness industry at the moment, which I just feel as though can be so toxic because they're literally promoting such like restrictive lifestyles to be somewhat healthy. And as you guys know, we are all about balance here. I actually feel so sick right now. I don't know why I had like bruschetta for breakfast, but it just made me feel so sick. Not badly really, but like, I think I need a poo. Okay, because Joel and Caden are in the pool, I'm trying to find my way around. And last time I did that, I got lost. Like, I shit you not, I ended up in the paddock, paddock, with cows. And I was trying to get to the restaurant. We got all the goods. Yeah. Apparently we have a little festival happening at our, our hotel. Uh, volleyball? volleyball yeah. And then we've got a little volleyball section over there. And there's like ladies at the end of the pool. And they, yeah, there's ladies over at the pool selling like all bracelets, anklets. So we've been getting one like every single day and I'm literally just getting covered. Fresh cuts, get all the sausages. I don't get it. It's meant to be sluts. Oh. That's not funny. All the girls have gone to train this afternoon. They're like, you should come. And I'm like, oh, I'm not feeling too well. <laughs> In all honesty, I did actually train this morning. We've been pretty good with our sessions because Joel has been getting up quite early. So we just get it over and done with. And there's some really good gyms around here. Favorite necklace. She just broke my favorite necklace. God. Let's pay back. We've actually got a team dinner with everyone tonight at what's it called? Babe, what's it called? <coughs> Penny, Penny, Penny. Yeah. We've got a team dinner tonight at Penny Lane, which we've been wanting to try for quite some time. So there's about 40 girls, and Caden's so stoked. And I'm actually going to have a go on the scooter, aren't I? No, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'd li I would literally trust Caden more than I would trust myself with the scooter. Just for the sheer fact that they're very heavy and Caden's a boy. And strategically, the boys have been matching. Come in. I was holding it. Because I wanted to get your reaction of this place. Well, I was hot. It's hot out there. Fuck. This is so nice. Wow. You just love it. That, that taxi man. It took me 
been a long way. I was Where is he? Have you paid him? No. Oh. Let's have a look at our villa. Oh, I love that view. <laughs> mm. Oh, nice to start. Oh, wow. No, you didn't organise this. They organised it. Did you? What? What did I say to you before, Kayla? Dad hasn't asked me to be Valentine's Day yet. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. Did you organise it too? This is how you treat your girlfriend, isn't it? You know. You know how we work. Just before we came, I literally said to Caden that Joel hasn't asked me to be his Valentine's yet. <laughs> oh. 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 We've been here for almost a week and I haven't I'm have literally living out of the suitcase. I'm finally gonna pack it away. I just mentally haven't been wanting to deal with it. Which one's mine? It literally feels so good to finally be somewhat organized on this trip. I'm not living out of a suitcase. Morning. What are you doing? Hey mate. Oh, is that what we're doing today? I don't know. Can you ride one? No, I can't. The boys really want to do quad riding today, so I'm going to learn how to ride a quad. All I've literally been wearing, guys, it's the bad. Oh my god, I also posted on my Instagram that I've been doing my brows. And they're like with hair wax. Mm. You now people spend so much money on brow wax. How smart is that? You're so smart. Thank you. And I've literally, all I've been using is coverage. <laughs> Welcome to the first grade, mate. It's just literally so hot in Bali. I highly recommend girls getting on the pressed mineral because it is just such a light coverage. We've also made some friends from the retreat because we come here like not really knowing anyone. Like I knew a few girls from Instagram and stuff. But we'll oh, that means your best friends if you're like friends are from Instagram. Yeah. I'm my best friend. I followed her and it's together for fucking like three years. Like, yeah, she's my friend. Yeah, I know her. I've never met her, but I've known her for so long, just on Instagram. Yeah, well, I, I just mean like I know them. I know what they've had for breakfast. I know who they're dating. I know everything about them. Oh, yeah. Let's go, bro. Hey, we got to get up. So this is like the swing over there, and then you come to a lunch spot. That swing was really cool, I highly recommend that. We did have to get off early, because Joel's back. And we can't actually go into the pool, because we've got little men. So if you come with kids, be prepared for that. But the restaurant is so beautiful, overlooking everything. First time in history, I'm up before Joel. Happy Valentine's Day. What are you doing here? Do I do? Oh, babe, I've been up all night. Have you? No. Why? Freezing cold. Boiling hot. 
Oh my god, oh my god. Babe, I can't open it. Got it. I am so nervous. Joel's actually not going to come to the gym this morning because he didn't have the best night's sleep. And I am left to get to the gym somehow on my own. I'm independent, strong. The only thing is I cannot ride one of them. So luckily, at the place we're staying, they have um, little bikes. I don't even know where I'm going. You told me but I forget. Hi, excuse me. Maybe I should try a scooter. <laughs> Just these little ones, they look so cute, babe. I reckon I could ride them. What do you reckon? If it's only 100 meters, yeah, not yet. I gotta wait. But I wanna try riding one of them today. <laughs> A long heat. So funny that it just like cuts off. It's like so nice. Bali. Bye. Nice bike. Shall I say go? Are you watching me too? Stop! I'm so embarrassed! Whoa! Oh my god! I don't need no man, I'm independent! Oh shit! Right, left. Right, left. That's not too hard. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so dramatic. The gym is right here. I <laughs> just down <fell> there. <laughs> he was like, honestly, it's not far. And I was like, yeah, but I don't know where I am. No, it's literally three places. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm not road smart at all. I've probably passed you about a thousand times. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Look at me on my little bike. I know, I love it. Look at me on my scooter. I know. <laughs> okay, so this is like the cool kids gym. We're at the cool, oh, leaf. <laughs> that was a person. It's so nice. Hi. Uh, <gasps> roses. Yeah. How beautiful. So I got a rose on entry and the girls and didn't. And they're that. spewing up. They're like, can we just get one for a photo? <laughs> oh, so you did. Can I ask why I got one? so packed it is honestly so hot i did only train four exercises um but last time i did this session i was wrecked my legs were so sore for days it all comes down to the intensity that you're training not oh my god i am so embarrassed sorry guys <laughs> they're waiting to go fast Honestly, the coffees are so much better than my first experience in Bali. They're so nice. I still got Kate in a milkshake and I don't know how I'm gonna ride it home. Not. I've never experienced barley barley before, so this has hit me hard. No idea what I got it from. I actually think I brushed my teeth in the shower. But we are currently at our next little resort. It's so beautiful. I'm hoping I'll feel better tomorrow because we're only here for three days. So I want to be able to enjoy and experience it. Whilst the boys are currently out sussing out the island, I'm using this time to catch up on some work. So I'm actually in the middle of planning like a little challenge for a series for my YouTube and podcast. So my goal with this trip, like when I got back, I really wanted to knuckle down when it came down to my building, my training, and just taking my goal a little bit more seriously and just my health as well. Like I have definitely just relaxed 
a little bit too much and it's something that I've definitely needed in order to like reduce my stress levels and everything so within this challenge that's what it's about it's nothing about anything to do with restriction or anything that's unachievable so it's actually kind of like a, a mock version you guys have probably seen it on Instagram I'm so against it so it's a 75 hard challenge so basically what it is for 75 days you work out twice a day and you have to like stick to your diet read I love all the other things but just working out twice a day no rest days whatsoever within the 75 days no so not achievable and you're just literally so burnt out by the end of it and you just probably won't want to train ever again so i've actually created the 75 at balance so obviously because it's um incorporated with yo balance co which is my podcast and also my youtube channel and overall balance is just something that has such a strong meaning for me so it's a balanced challenge <sighs> but i I'm actually excited for this challenge, especially for the fact of how shit I feel right now. But it is something that I 100% wanted to do after this barley trip because I knew I obviously wanted to drink and just relax a little bit because it is Caden and Joel, our first time ever really doing it together. So it's currently day two at the island and I finally just recovered from Bali Belly as of this afternoon. Like even today I had to lay down. Um, I had a bit of a massage and the boys got a manicure and pedicure. But this afternoon, well tonight, we are out at this beautiful, beautiful like restaurant. It's like a restaurant on the water. It's somewhere I would highly recommend if you ever come to Lombongan Island. I'll show you guys, we went there last night. It was so beautiful. I also have no eyelashes. I ripped them off today. Right. Do you like? They see you at the top and spend a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one last no one's around for you. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. No, no, no. And this is what Caden's doing. All in car my zoom my benzo, I'm so fancy. No one man saying got my baby. Trying to get me to do again. Get, I'll get that. Get the shot. Last day, and we're all ready to pack and go. I haven't really showed you guys what we've been staying in, but this villa is so beautiful. It's on the island. This is Joel and I's room. It kind of like overlooks the pool. Got the outdoor shower, which is so beautiful. This is the pool, and then this is kind of like meant to be the kitchen eating area, but we don't really eat there because the restaurant and everything is just out there. This is Caden's little room, king bed all to himself. Wonder what dad's doing. Standard. Yeah, so this one's on the Bongan Island. It is called High Tide. Do definitely recommend this one. And there were so many beautiful places. Um, I throughout the video I would have like tagged the locations that we went to. But overall, it was just such a good experience finally being able to come to Bali with the boys because we haven't done it before. Um, through the end of this trip, I did actually announce and launch my 75 balance challenge so you guys would have seen it on instagram if you haven't already go check out my podcast your balance co so over on our facebook page is where we're all connecting as a community yes the challenges start um but if you're late to it that is completely fine you can just start your 75 days whenever you can start day one whenever it doesn't really really matter if you do want to be a part of it make sure that you do either message me or um, message the Facebook group. But all the information and everything is on Your Balances Co. Instagram. So basically what it is, is we're sticking to a challenge for 75 days. So within this period, there are certain things that you follow um, just basically to help with your discipline, to help with your health, to help with your well-being and overall just creating that balance. I will be utilizing this to help amongst with my goals. So once I get back from Bali, I'm trying to build um, some muscle and just get a little bit more serious when it comes down to health, 
the gym, I'm just really, really excited. But with these challenges, what I do like is there's things that are just going to help with your overall personal development as well. So things like meditation, yoga, stretching, eight to 10K steps a day, no drinking. So this is gonna be a challenge for me personally. So there's no drinking within the 75 days. I'm really, really keen to challenge myself and also to acknowledge that I do have a self-discipline there. When it comes down to alcohol, I just tend to choose to let it lap. And doing these things are so good for, like I said, understanding that you do have self-discipline when you wanna have something. Just executing that goal once you make a goal, that action is what creates that self-discipline. Things like cold showers, which is so good for your overall health when it comes down to your mental health, your emotional state, physical health, so many benefits. And before I came to Bali, I was gonna do all of this kind of anyway for my own personal challenge, but something that I love is people to keep me accountable and a community to do it with. So this is why I was like, you know what, I'm going to create this for you guys to join for free. We just hustle together, create balance together, just do this healthy challenge together and just really challenge ourselves and to just become a community from it. I will be uploading a podcast weekly on Your Balance Co, interviewing people that I have lined up that are kind of like integrating with this challenge when it comes down to gut health, giving up addiction, hormones, people to do with fitness, people to do with health. I'm so, so excited and I have also teamed up with a few of my sponsors to offer you guys huge discounts when you sign up to my mailing list. So with EHP, Right Away, Lust Minerals and a few others so you get um, even more discounts than you do from my normal discount code. So you get some more discounts, you get packages, etc. This is, again, can help you amongst the challenge. And I will be sending out free recipes weekly to those who are signed up to my mailing list. So make sure that you are signed up. I will leave all the links and everything below. Um, but before we go, I did want to say a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video. So Squarespace. So you will see when you go into my website to sign up to my mailing list, I'm actually, everything is done through Squarespace. I have been with Squarespace for so long, not only with my websites, but the websites I have actually built for um, business owners, my friends, and websites that I've had previously with other businesses. It's just honestly the best website builder there is, purely for the sheer fact that it's just so easy to build your own website. So you don't need to spend all this money for website developers because I know how expensive they can be. I've got quotes before. So to be able to do it on your own, it is so cost effective and Squarespace is so simple to use. Like it is so user friendly when it comes down to the admin panel. And also you can just choose a certain template to choose from and they're just so pretty and you can just kind of customize it to fit your brand, your style, whatever it is. So they do offer things like blog pages, landing pages, websites, obviously. So when it comes down to running a business, whatever you need, literally Squarespace has it. I will leave all my codes and everything in the description below, so make sure you check it out. I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. I'm very hot. Joel's doing the challenge with me. Say bye. Bye.